I dedicated in my speech, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this Legend Award and I'm going to give it straight to my mother, who is a legend because she let me dress up like Mary Poppins for Halloween when I was three years old with lipstick and a carpet bag. She let me be Alice in Wonderland. She let me be Cinderella. We borrowed Sue Hess's dresses that used to be Afton's, but now they're mine. Wait a so you've been casting the, you should not have been casting Frozen. There was a Mary Poppins movie. Yeah, yeah, There's right. Cinderella. Listen, it, it like, it unlo- I don't know if I would get cast as Cinderella now, but at three, very possible. Really? Yeah. You were a fierce Cinderella. It was very, yes, it was, it was oh, a lot. Show me your Cinderella walk. I kind of did it as King George, so you've seen it. Uh, <laughs> King, you've seen it. Yeah. King George is inspired by a three-year-old rendition of Cinderella. You That's your, your process. Yeah. Listen, I, I do feel like for me, acting does go back to that childhood spark of creativity. So of the King, you know, I'm sure was, it was Cinderella, it was Mary Poppins, it was Barbra Streisand, it was all of it. It was Beyonce, it was everything. So playing King George... What did you feel yesterday when you're here, Queen Elizabeth? That oh, that's funny. I, I didn't even equate it to, to Hamilton. I didn't, that didn't even occur to me. I felt like... You played her ancestor. <laughs> that they, thank you for sharing that with me. That didn't even occur to me when that happened. I just thought, end of an era, and what an icon, and what, uh, what an amazing life. What an amazing life. I felt sad. I felt moved. I felt, um, yeah, reflective. I felt impressed by her. I mean, come on. 96, right? You played her like great, 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 great uncle or something? I don't know. Sink in, yeah. I guess you're right. Okay. Tell me about the other night. Every report was you were crying. You were on your feet every standing ovation. I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... What was it like, Leah Michelle, your best friend, walks out on stage and says... Cry right now. Don't you I dare... Never, I would cry. never try to make someone cry on camera. Leah Michelle, her, the role that she's been wanting. I was on set for Glee when she sang Don't Rain On My Parade. What was it? Tell me. It was... It was... It was you know what it was? It, we were watching a girl become a woman right there because the the role of Fanny Bryce I mean is so epic it's huge it's one thing to sing the songs from the show and she's playing a high school student now she's a woman she is a woman she is a bona fide Broadway leading lady to me she became like Bernadette Peters in that in that moment on Tuesday night you were setting her up <laughs> you're setting her up she went from being a from, from being a young act young amazing actress to a real leading lady and she came out the audience went insane she sits we all sit down finally she says hello gorgeous the audience goes insane again and then the first lines that she sings are who are you now? Are you someone more than you were before? And I cried so hard. She told me she could hear me. She was like, I could hear you crying from the from like the first two minutes of the thing. Um, and then it was a rock concert, and it was also the second act. A lot of scenes, a lot of like very intense, dramatic scenes, and she... Uh, she blew me away. I knew she would be amazing, but I, I was not anticipating this, this woman to appear with, with such, like, class and grace and style. And it, we were all blown away. Her mom, her mom texted me yesterday. She was like, I'm still, just, I'm still just floored by the levels that Leah took us to, that she took herself to. It was amazing. So tell me about the phone call. Did she call you and say, oh, my God, I've just been offered Funny Girl? Oh, it was, I, 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 we, so I, it was like conversations on conversations on conversations. And the day that she got the offer, actually, she was at dinner with her dad and her agent called her to say, calling to offer you this. And Gideon Glick, who is a cast member of Spring Awakening with us, he walked by on the street and she was on the phone and she was crying. And he said, did you just get Fanny Bryce on Broadway? And she was like, yes. And he took a picture of her that I have on the street of her getting the job. You can show me. You want to show us? I mean, it's... 
it's here, but it's like deeply. I mean, I maybe that's personal. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> celebrating the Michelle's funny girl. Michelle. Okay, it might take me a minute to find <laughs> it, but I'm not opposed to showing you. But he took a picture of her on the street, and the last time she had gotten a Broadway offer, she was on the street with Gideon Glick when she was offered Les Mis. She got offered Eponine and Les Mis the year we were doing Spring Awakening, and she couldn't do it because we were doing Spring Awakening. So there was this weird, like, yeah, Gideon, Gideon Glick thing that was amazing. And then I think she... I actually don't remember the moment that she called me or texted me to tell me that it was officially happening. Um, but yeah. What is your favorite song she sings in Funny Girl? And give us a little bit. What is my favorite song she sings in Funny Girl? Oh, it's really hard to pick. I'm a huge Funny Girl obsessive fan. I'm a huge Barbara. Shocking. 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 <laughs> Shocking. I sent Leah, I so you know what? Okay, so I sent Leah a YouTube that I know of an audio recording of Barbara's last music that makes me dance on Broadway. And I sent it to her and I was like, I think you have to do, I think you have to end the song like this. I think that, because it was in a div different version that they were doing it in. So I think that might be my favorite song. I love the music that makes me dance. I know he's around when the sky and the ground start in ringing. I know that he's near by the thunder I hear in advance. His words, his words alone are the words that can start my heart singing. And his is the only music that makes me dance. So good. Or so it might be who, who Are You Now? I don't know. I have a million favorite songs, but yeah. Frozen 3, when are you doing it? I mean, please tell me when. Sign me up. I don't know. Do you have a story idea? No. No. I really you know don't. What? You know what? After that singing, there's no more point in this interview. 